What's up guys, it's Matt from the Rusty Raptor Prop Shop and today I'm going to teach you how to take a 3D model and hollow it out in Mesh Mixer so you can save on the resin you use in your 3D printer. Stick around. Alright, now this is going to be a super easy project. All you're going to need is go online and download a program called Mesh Mixer. If you go on Google, type it in, you'll be able to find it really easy. It's a free program. You're going to go down here, I already have it downloaded. We're going to click onto that and bring Mesh Mixer up. Maximize it so you guys can see better here. Uh, we're going to import our model. Now we're currently working on a Moana model for a client right now, so we're going to pull that open. And you see it pops in there, you can see the design, you can spin around it if you want to. Uh, it's a super easy program. Now in this program you have a lot of different options. We're only going to use one real simple option, it's going to automate the whole process for us. But if you go over to the side over here, you see stuff like um, smoothing, sculpting, all different kind of stuff. We're going to go to the edit category. Click on to that. Now inside edit, there's a lot of different options of things you can do. You can change the alignment of the items, move them around, all kinds of stuff. We're gonna use uh, the simple one, just says hollow. We're going go in here, scroll in here, find the hollow one right there. We're gonna click onto that. Now, like I said, this is gonna automate the entire process for you. There's a lot of stuff in here you can change if you want to. I usually leave most of it the same. Um, you can kind of see there, get an example of what it's gonna look like. Now, there is an option for holes on this. Now, when you want to hollow something out, you're gonna to wanna to at least have one hole in it so you can pour the excess resin that's gonna get trapped inside of it out. Um, you can go up to four holes. You can move those holes around depending on your model. On this project, we're gonna use a single hole and we're gonna put that hole in the very bottom of the item. Uh, we're actually gonna fill this item with resin later on um, to give it a specific look. So that hole in the bottom is gonna allow us to do that. It's also gonna allow us to get the uh, 3D printing resin out of the item. Now, after you make sure your holes and all that stuff in a good spot, uh, you have to do nothing else. You can kind of see what the model is going to look like. All you're going to do is go over here and you're going to accept the model. Yeah, go over here like that, accept that. And that's going to do the whole process for you. Now, this model is actually completely hollow now, and you're going to have a hole down here in the bottom, right about there. And um, you can spin around that. You can go over here and you're going to export this model. And you're going to make sure you put it in an STL format. There's a lot of different formats you can put it in, but you're going to find an STL, which is what's going to open on the Photon uh, program in a little bit. We're going to type Moana Hollow. Perfect. Save that to the desktop. And then we're going to close out a mesh mixer after this finishes up. It's going to take a few minutes for it to uh, completely get the file done there. And once it does, we can just close out of that. We'll go over to our 3D printer software. Pull this open, perfect. Now, this is where you're actually gonna get it ready for printing. Now, since it's hollow, um, it's already gonna be all set up in that file. You're just gonna open the file up. Right on here, it's in the desktop. Scroll to the bottom down here. Let's pull that file in. Now, since it's an STL, it's gonna open up just as normal there. Now, in the program here, you can do a lot of things. You can move around it and see the different uh, the item itself. We got all the angles there for you. Look at the bottom here. You can see the hole we put in there to, to show that this one is the hollow model. And then we want to reposition this item so we get the best printing surface. Now the back of this isn't going to matter for us, so we're actually going to print it right side up like this. Change. Now you can also switch the angle this way too if you want. Uh, for this one, it doesn't really matter since it's kind of a round object but um, you can turn it if you needed to to fit the item on the print bed if your item was bigger or had an awkward shape. We're gonna angle this down just a tiny bit more here so we can get most of the supports in the back instead of any on the front. Uh, that might do it. Let's lower it a little bit more maybe. And we can also go over here and actually look at the percentage we're rotating. We can also look at the scale and that kind of stuff. Let's drop this down a tiny bit more. Mm, that might do it. And that'll give resin enough room to run off of it too so we don't get any stuck resin on there. All right, now after that, you're gonna put supports on this. Now I'm gonna click the object here like that. We're gonna go to the supports category. Now you have a couple options once you get into this one. What you can do is you can actually put manual supports in there yourself and pick exactly the spots you want those supports to go onto. Um, the more you put on there, they'll start connecting and you can make your entire framework under there yourself if you want to. Now this does take a lot of time and it does take some practice too. If you're new at this, it's not something you wanna to try to jump right into. But the good news is there's an easier method than doing this. Uh, you have to work your way all the way around the entire print. 
making sure there's no spots it's gonna fall off. Connecting each little individual piece. Uh, if you don't wanna do that, you can go over here, remove all those supports we just put on, and you can use the auto support feature. So all you'll do is click that, give it a couple seconds, it'll generate all the supports it thinks you're gonna need for the specific model you're working on. Right, like that. It's gonna put them in there where it thinks it needs it. Now, this isn't terrible, but I think the object we're working on here, we might wanna angle it just a tiny bit more. We'll move those supports real fast. We'll go back to this screen. Pull that down a tiny bit, just get a little more angle there so we get a little more flatness on the back. Click the item again, go back over to supports. Hit auto supports. Gonna generate those supports for us. Take a few seconds. Now you can also change it to light, medium, or heavy supports. Usually just stick in the middle there, it's the safest way. They're usually super easy to get off. Um, you get them off there before you let it dry most of the time. You just kind of crack them off with your finger. So it's taking a long time to add supports to. There we go, got it. All right, now uh, we're pretty good to go here. Everything's good. We got all of our supports done. We're gonna hop back over, make sure everything's good there. All around there. It's not gonna impede on any of our design on the top. All right, we're gonna hop back over here. Now I'm gonna set this at an uh, exposure of eight instead of 10. 10 a little overkill most of the time. And after that, we're just gonna save it. I'm gonna save the file so we can put it on our printer. Just so I can find it easier, save it to the desktop. Now after this slices, it's gonna give you a estimated time of how long it's gonna to take to actually print. Uh, most of the time that time's a little off, so I wouldn't go by it exactly, but you can go in here and down here and check your preview if you want to, just to make sure it looks normal. That's your bottom layer. It's gonna work its way up as you pull that little slider up there so you can see how it's gonna build that item. You're gonna start seeing your design come up. Do to the top there, it's gonna close off and you're good to go. All right, now you're gonna do is save that onto your flash drive, put it in your printer and you'll be set. You're gonna save on a lot of resin just because you don't have it as a solid item now, so it's only gonna print the outside edge of that. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our video. If you liked it, make sure you click subscribe down below so you can catch all of our clips from video tutorials, reviews, prop builds, and more. And don't forget to check out RustyRaptor.com. Use the promo code NEWCUSTOMER for 5% off your next order. See you later.